Hey guys, weird way to start the vlog. As you can see, I'm in the doctor's office, ready, about to have an exam. Um, and I will tell you more about what I am doing here today that looks so scary and uh, what I've been going through. So stay tuned. about babies a lot I always wanted a family when I was a little girl everyone would be like what do you want to be I'm very opinionated and extremely strong-willed so everyone thought I would say stuff like you know like a president doctor lawyer you know stuff like that I just wanted to be a wife and mom yeah finding that out was um really hurtful it really I don't know how to explain it when you feel like your body doesn't work the way it's supposed to it just kind of turns your life inside out and when you think you have time you don't so that's what I've been going through for the last couple months. We started the process last year, but uh, Tony changed jobs, which means insurance changed and I didn't want to get into deep, so to speak, with an OBGYN and then our insurance end up not covering the person. It was kind of a blessing in disguise because I really did not like OB. Very high. My OB last year was also a fertility specialist, but like he was so annoying. His rates as far as live births were very high. His bedside manner was, y'all ever been to a doctor and you just look upside the head like, he was just rude, very like no personality, very. I like for a doctor to tell me the real and to be honest with me, but you don't have to be rude. He basically said you're fat and old is basically. In medical terms, that's what he said to me. The new office I'm going to thus far, you know, knock on wood, has been great. They just make me feel very comfortable. They tell me the facts. They don't sugarcoat, but they always encourage me and make me feel, again, very comfortable. I think it's because it's all women. Just gonna throw that out there. I just feel a lot more comfortable when you're around someone that obviously can go through what you're going through when they poke and prob and insert they know how that feels so they're a little bit more gentle and understanding just i feel better about it as it stands we don't think we'll have to do ivf which is like the most expensive thing which i just for sure knew with my luck that i would have to do we checked my fallopian tubes i don't know the name of the test i'll put on the screen but y'all Honestly, that fallopian tube test was like a pap smear on steroids. Like it was one of the most horrible experiences I've ever had medically in my life. Like it was just horrible. Basically the test was to, to see if my fallopian tubes were clear. So basically they pump your fallopian tubes full of dye and do like this big x-ray. It looked kind of like a C-scan machine where like you're laying down and the machine comes down on your pelvic and stomach area basically to see if your tubes are clear. So I did that before I even went to the specialist with my internist because she was like, let's just get all the tests that we can get done done so you can just hit the ground running when you go to the fertility specialist. Then I went to the consultation with my doctor's office, the fertility specialist, who I honestly like y'all because as soon as I went in there, they did an ultrasound. There's like, that was the consultation. And I just love the fact that let's just get stuff going. So I went in there, they said they saw some fibroids, but it was just a 2D ultrasound. So I had to come back today which is what i did today and do a 3d ultrasound which is basically where they take a like a balloon insert it with um saline a liquid to see if they can they were concerned the fibroids were in the lining of my uterus so that would cause problems if i were to get pregnant turns out they are not there so are as far as on the lining of my uterus so i'm all clear in between that i've gotten genetic blood work testing because when we get a donor we have to make sure whatever i'm positive for and i found that i'm positive for some stuff the sperm the sperm donor or the donor isn't positive for the same thing so the baby won't have any kind of issues so all of this has been going on again i just got the results via email 
two days ago, but I made an appointment with the genetic specialist as well as the fertility specialist to go over that. So now as it stands, since we got all the testing done, y'all, <laughs> since we got all the testing done, the next step would probably be for me to start taking hormone pills. And then they said that they were going to trigger my eggs to drop. I don't really know what that is, but I know I'm gonna have to give myself injections. And then they call me in for the insemination. I'm happy and I'm scared that it's moving so fast. These vlogs coming up are kind of like my little kumbaya moment to decompress and say stuff out loud and you know, get the realization of it. So yeah, y'all, that's what I'm dealing with. I was running out the door. My doctor's office is like an hour away from me. So as I was running out the door, I had to drop off my ballot to vote because today's last day, plus get gas. And that may not sound like a big deal, but when you are in California, that that process alone was about 30 to 45 minutes. And then I just hopped on the freeway and the freeway is just, an, it's a toss up as far as traffic wise. And then I couldn't find parking. So I was gonna start the vlog beforehand, but I already know I was running late and there was way too much to do. So that's why I started in the doctor's office. So I didn't take out anything for dinner, which is why fail. That was my fault, but I was just running late. Plus I was super, super nervous about this ultrasound. I hate things like this. So my mind really wasn't where it was supposed to be. So we're gonna order some dinner. I'm gonna upload some results from my general doctor for the fertility specials because she said she didn't get that and yeah i'm really bad at vlogging i'm trying y'all i'm trying but i'll be back hey guys it is a day later so sorry about that i think we left off i showed you that tony took me out to dinner we went to like red lobster just because i wasn't feeling that great after the appointment a little sore and you know i have the best spouse ever so she didn't want me to cook so like i said it's the next morning i am sitting in my little makeshift office and i am responding back to comments on the channel i'm also watching a friend's playlist and my house is looking kind of a mess as far as my living room so i'm gonna tidy up that i don't remember if i told you or not but basically the test i was doing was to see if my fibroids which is very common in african-american women i don't know why doctors don't know why it's so common but it looks like i have six three on each side of my uterus. And they wanted to make sure that that wasn't in the lining of my uterus because that would bring complications when I get pregnant. So it wasn't, so very happy about that. But it seems like all of the big tests are pretty much done. I also got some blood work a couple of weeks back for genetic testing to see if I have anything you know, that I would have to notify the sperm bank where we're going to get our donor because you don't want to test positive for something. And the sperm donor has also has that or is positive for that. There's more likelihood that your child will come out with whatever you guys are positive for. So that was super important. I didn't think the insurance was gonna cover it, but it did, thank God. So I think that's really important. So yeah, it looks like now all I have to do is a final not a final but like kind of a follow-up to go over all of the test results and then we will uh, shop for the special juice and then start the hormone treatment and then have a baby so yeah i'm pretty excited and kind of scared but i'm just hoping for the best and trying to stay positive it's really hard to stay positive when there's so much in the air and so much that could go wrong and i just always try to stay positive and it's really really hard sometimes because if you're anything like me like you overthink things and i'm like the web md person like y'all i could cough and i'm on web md and i'm thinking i have some kind of like tumor that's me so this process has been very challenging but i have been positive i have slipped up and you know let let negativity in but I'm really trying not to and to be hopeful and praying about it and manifesting it. So really trying. Sorry if it's loud in here. I always have my windows open. This fool always, whenever I pick up the camera, he want to blow, 
pull up the leaf blower or freaking mow the lawn. He want to do something. But anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around, show you this mess I have to clean up. I have laundry I have to fold. Finish responding to some comments and I'll check back in with y'all. I don't know if y'all like this. Again, I'm terrible at vlogging. I love watching vlogs, but I don't think I'm a good vlogger. Bear with me. I'm going to try to get better. Here's my little makeshift office. My bookshelf, I was gonna do a voice oversight my headphones, my burner phone. This is my liquid iron, y'all, that I have been taking it. It tastes like death, but I feel so much better. It's a liquid form and it comes like in a little um, dropper just because I am not the best at taking pills, but these have really, this has really helped me set these like they pills. But yeah, replying back to the comments on the YouTube channel. I have paper back there, I don't know what that is. My cart y'all know of, I need to vacuum. I'm gonna plan today. I have to clean all of this up, put those box lights up. And these are all the packages that I have to review for videos. So a lot going on. I always have my little blanket cause it's colder in the morning, but yeah. And here's the window and all this noise that you probably hear. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up. And like I said, I'll check back in. So it is about three hours later. I have somewhat cleaned up my workspace. I have done some editing, answered all of the comments, had a conference call. There's some black and soul business. And now I'm going to, I also had lunch. I had the bomb and salad, y'all. You follow me on Instagram, I posted it, it was so good. But now I'm going to fold clothes while watching an old Lifetime movie. First off, shout out to old heads that like the old Lifetime, the new Lifetime sucks. Like all the new Lifetime movies, like I feel like they get the actors from like Walmart, like they're great value actors, that shade. But the old school Lifetime, like movies from 2000, not 2000, 1992 and 1990, those are the best movies. Anything 2000 and above as far as Lifetime is trash. But anyway, we're gonna watch a Lifetime movie I'm gonna take my iron, cause I haven't done that. I'm gonna take my shot of iron, y'all are so nasty. And I'm gonna sit in front of the TV and wash clothes and then vacuum, then get in the shower. And I have a virtual doctor's appointment that I have to get ready for. And I'm probably gonna shoot another video. So let's get cracking on this So y'all, this is like literally the absolute best organic lemonade. It's strawberry lemonade. It's not too tart, not too sweet. I absolutely adore it. But I just wanted to share with y'all how I take my liquid iron. Sorry if you hear the TV. But um, actually, let me turn it off. Okay, y'all, sorry. So this is the liquid that I take. I will leave a link in the description box below. I got it from Amazon. Now, again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. Always check with your health professional, you know, when you're doing any kind of supplements, vitamins, whatever. This works better for me than pills. I'm not a big pill taker. Um, and plus the pills really hurt my stomach. So the way I've been taking it, that works for me. Look how dark this is, y'all. I will put the amount. And one droplet is equal to 50 milligrams of iron. So I squeeze all of it out. I am a toddler, y'all. I do not like pills y'all that have been following me for a while know i take gummy vitamins like i'm not here for it but look how disgusting that is Ooh. so normally what i'll do is i'll put this in a shot glass mix it with some kind of juice i've not done it with my strawberry lemonade because i love it so much but i'm not opening up a soda or something just to take my medicine but anyway i will put something sweet with it and then just take it to the head y'all like for real for real like i'm 20 again like that's how I take my medicine. Yes, I'm a toddler and I know it. I'm doing what works for me. Stop being me. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Oh. Now it's clear we are here back. 